What's up guys and gals and welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today in the world of indie games, we're going to be checking out Space Wreck. This is a CRPG in space that's being developed by a couple of guys from Latvia. We're going to check it out, give it a look today, see if it's the kind of RPG you wanted to add to your wish list or otherwise pass on. I'll have a link for you down below in the description if that's what you want to do. Alongside all my Discord links for my community hub and whatnot, make sure you check those out. Let's start the demo off. We're going to spend about 25-30 minutes with it and see if it's something that really tickles the old jimmies, shall we? Uh, the game is currently available. You can get the game, like, right now. So what I'm playing at the moment, you can go play, too. The developers wisely decided to release the game in sort of like a pre-pre-early access form uh, to take criticism and feedback. And so anyways, if you wanted to be a part of the development of the game, it's not on sale yet. You can just go play the pre-pre-beta, basically, right now, like I'm doing. Let's play. You may find combat unforgiving. That is because it is 100% optional. Listen, headbutting everybody that looks at me in the face is never optional, okay? This is an RPG. I'm here to power fantasy it up and expand my neck muscles into a never ending empire of headbutting. In the 22nd century, humanity is spread across the solar system. Wild capitalization of the markets has sparked bloody clashes between corporations and asteroid miners, spiraling into anarchy. You are an inexperienced captain, fresh out of the academy on your first voyage. Being a complete outsider to the crew, they don't seem to have much respect for you or your command. To make matters worse, your ship is targeted by asteroid pirates, and the blast of a stray ion torpedo damages the fuel controller chip. Somehow the ship manages to limp away to a nearby space wreck in hopes of finding a replacement. But someone has to go get it. The crew proposes a lottery to determine who will. Despite your status as the captain, you feel compelled to participate. Everyone draws the straws, but you get the short one. I like how my ship is just like a grumpy penguin cube in space. Distance ...when your shuttle unexpectedly runs out of fuel. Luckily, there is an abandoned space station nearby. You land, hoping to replenish the fuel tanks of the stranded shuttlecraft. Why does my shuttle look like it's been stored at the bottom of the ocean in a pile of rust? ...the hatch opens, stepping outside on broken tiles of the derelict station. You have no idea what to expect. It looks like it was built by Capsule Corp. There is no way forward without fuel. Okay. Well, I mean, it could be worse. So here we are. An annoying voice over the radio. Captain! Wake up! We've arrived! Okay, I landed. The shuttle tanks are completely empty. you got to find fuel here. Okay, I've got it. All right, so choose your captain's background. We can be an online validi uh, video celebrity. We can be a juvenile offender. Or we can be a gun enthusiast. I want to go from a blank slate. Let's make our own character. Uh, let's be a dude. That sounds good. You are a stereotypical male. And accordingly, get inherent physical bonuses. What do ladies get? Uh, okay. She gets a plus one to charm. Okay, so she's just, like, naturally more charming than I get it, dude. I'm kind of like a brick-headed idiot. That sort of makes sense. Like, in all honesty, my wife is a lot more charming than I am just by default. I suppose it kind of makes sense. Uh, we've got points that we can spread around over here. We've got physicality. So that's our strength and agility and general physical fitness. Affects our health, melee, damage, inventory space, and more. We've got our fuck use. Discipline and mental strength, the ability to concentrate on a task at hand. Affects your action points, combat initiative, melee damage, evasion, and more. We've got perception, eyesight, hearing, and the rest of the senses. Intuition, general awareness, and the ability to quickly assess situations. Good perception allows you to read people. Okay, so it's for conversations, firearm range, critical hit chance, and then awareness of the map. We've got charm. That's pretty much makes sense. Like, that's charisma. And then we've got work. Apparently, one of our stats is called work. How good are you with a shovel? Pretty good with a shovel, brother. Uh, genius is 1% talent and 99% hard work. Don't rely on the attributes you're born with. Invest work to improve your skills. Every point in work gives you one additional skill point. Oh. So it's directly related to how fast we get XP level up and improve our skills as well. Okay. Well, 
like, can I afford to take, like, okay, so this is, like, one of those games where they want you to, like, specialize. Gotcha. Like, there ain't gonna be no way around that. Uh, let's go with some focus for extra AP. I was a big fan of, like, AP builds in, like, Fallout 2 and whatnot, so, like, we'll get, like, six AP right there. Uh, maybe I'll have, like, a little bit of work. Yeah, that sounds okay to me. We'll have, like, a little bit of work right there, and then we'll just kind of spread that out. I might be a little bit too under-focused. You know what? I'm just going to be an asshole, dude. Nobody's going to like me. I'm going to be completely and totally unlikable. I'm going to have no... Ch I'm going to do the opposite of what I normally do in RPGs. Usually in RPGs, I'm like all charm, all charisma, all day. But this time around, no. We will be utterly unlikable and everyone will shrink away from every opportunity to interact with us. Alright, so we can go for speech. Psytech. So this is hacking and like computer stuff, I guess. We've got tinkering, we've got sneaking, we've got melee, we've got ranged. All right, well, I would like to be okay at range. Like that sounds like a decent plan. I seem to be somewhat okay at melee already. Maybe I'll go with like some sci tech and maybe like, we'll just go for some sci tech and some tinkering. That sounds good. I accept this. All right, so subject fit for position of captain. With vast knowledge of computer systems and protocols, the subject can disable security or access protected networks. Okay, so I was like 60% hacker, like 47% uh, engineer, part soldier, no covert, well, a little bit covert operation, and obviously I'm not a negotiator. Introvert, cannot talk to strangers, negotiations unlikely. Unlikable, people tend to avoid and ignore the subject, socializing ruled out. Absolutely useless in combat with or without a gun. P.S. Space Academy is legally obliged to inform you that the accuracy of this assessment is 23%. Alright. Well, here we are. We're outside of our ship, and we can, like, take a look around. So there's our little space capsule right there. What do I have in my inventory? So we have a passenger spacesuit. Okay. Standard passenger spacesuit, very light, but offers basic protection. Intended for emergencies only. All right, we got a captain's uniform over here, almost the same outfit as the rest of the crew. Captain's suit sports additional subtle insignias. And then we've got some keys. We've got the Bolta shuttle key, the captain's quarters key, and the Bolta sh shuttle fob. Okay, who are you? Let's see here. These are the remains of a destroyed robot. With the right tools and knowledge, you could try to salvage something useful. Uh, I have SciTech. Having glanced over the structure, you quickly recognize the right access panel and figure out where, what goes where, and identify a few components that could be useful. Only one thing left, extract them. Okay. It seems like you'll need a wrench to access and extract the valuable items from the frame. Okay, so I'll find a, f I'll, I'll find a, I'll find a wrench then. That sounds like my plan. Uh, there's a, there's a dead guy over here. Let's go look at the dead guy. Anybody want to poke a dead guy? This is like the space version of Stand By Me. Alright, so, dead guy. A piece of pipe, a random piece of industrial piping, heavy, unhandy, and slightly terrifying. Okay, we have a screwdriver used for turning screws. Very handy when you need to access something. That seems to go with my skill set, so I'm going to take it. We've got overalls over here, workers attire, comfortable, simple, and practical. I don't think I'm going to take somebody else's secondhand overalls. I just, I don't feel like that's going to be helpful. Something dropped. A hairpin. A hairpin is a long device used to hold a person's hair. Fun fact, this common accessory item is a popular choice with thieves for breaking locks. Okay, well, I'll take it then. Hello? Anyone alive inside this derelict husk of a trash wagon? Who are you? Hello? Uh, what's going on? Nothing I can't handle. There were two cam bots blocking the exit. I took care of one, but it tore open my spacesuit. Had to fall back here and rethink. Um, excuse me, but I need to ask, like, who are you and where did you come from? Uh, I am the captain of a stranded passenger ship. As in from Earth? Oh, man, what are you doing here? Uh, I need a fuel chip. We got stranded when somebody fired an ion torpedo at us. Makes sense, although I'm not sure you're going to find it here. One of those shipwrecks would probably be a better place. This station didn't really have any engines. Yeah, I also ran out of fuel, so that's how I'm here. Well, in that case, you're kind of in the right place. There should be a bunch of fuel here. But, that's why we're here, and I'm not sure if the Vilnus is ready to share with anybody. I'll have to ask him. Uh, who's Vilnus? He's, well, he's not really the captain of the ship, the spirit of Titus, but everybody, including the captain, listens to him. So he's sort of the leader for the group that I'm with? I see. But, that is why we're here, and I'm not sure if Vilnus is ready to share with anybody. You'll have to ask him. Alright, where is he? He's on the promenade, right in the middle of the station. That's where the bar, the shop, and the dance floor are at. But, that's also, okay, so it's just repeating right there. 
Does he control access to the fuel? Well, no, not yet, but that's only a matter of time. So it seems like it's kind of up for grabs then, right? I like your attitude, but if you get in the way, I'm going to shoot you. No hard feelings, right? Okay. Um, later. You don't seem very friendly and you have a gun, and that, like, kind of worries me. Can I have, a, like, can I, yeah, can I, just give me this pipe right here so that if I need to, like, bludgeon somebody to death, I have it free and easily available. Alright, so we've got another screwdriver, another piece of pipe. We've got a toilet pass. Alright, I'll take that. We've got a terminal office key card. Alright. Um, I'm just gonna pick up, yeah, like, all that stuff. That sounds good. Is there anything else laying around here? Is that robot gonna hurt me? Dude, I'm kinda- he's in the way though, like, I kinda have to deal with him. Robot? Are you friendly? Whoa, he fired a laser cannon at me, dude! No! Okay, don't do that. I mean, I can smack him. Nice! Oh, he evaded my smack, dude! I was so excited about that smack. I felt like that smack was gonna be what liberates me. Please don't shoot me with the laser cannon. Please don't. Are there more of them around here? Why is the turn taking so long? Ow! 13 damage, it hurt so much! Uh... Powerful but slow crippling attack. Okay. Um, I hit you? It says I have like a 95% chance. But it, so, it doesn't seem to be going very well. Like, I, I don't know if that's my chance to hit or ow. Okay. Um. Hey, I hit him. Nice. How much HP does he have? Like, he's like super dead, right? He's like crazy dead. Oh, all of my decisions in this life were a mistake. I hate everything that I've ever done. Apparently kicking him in the wall didn't accomplish anything. I wanted it to accomplish something, but I don't think it accomplished it. Okay, I'm like gonna die, dude. Like, I'm officially going to die horribly. Uh, this was a terrible plan. It looks like he's almost out. Okay. I mean... Well, I killed it. I have, like, no HP left, but... Um, I need a wrench in order to properly, like... What is this right here? We got, like, a little... What is this thing right here? How do I get my health back, too? We got a pay one pure coin to use the facilities. I don't think I need to do that. Don't I have a key? I was going to say, I'm pretty sure I have a key, although I can't tell what's going on inside of here. Welcome, Terminal Cat Tube Access Key Card. The hell is that? Okay. That was certainly a lot of words, all of which I have no idea what they mean. Uh, can I go, like, zero G out here? Is that possible? Can I, like, just float across to wherever I want to go? Because it looks like there's a thing over here. Oh, yeah, dude, I can. I can just, like, straight fly over. Nice, man. I like that. What is this thing? This is a public access terminal. Thank you for the cogent information. I appreciate how you went straight to the job right there. Uh, the social network. View the board. Could not connect to the messaging board servers. Okay. What about submitting a request? Request fail. We apologize for the inconvenience. Can I fix it? Oh, nice, dude. It appears there's nothing to fix, and it's not a real error. Instead, it's just a hard-coded message. Apparently, it was never possible to submit a request in the first place. <laughs> All right. Um, global news. Anything? Okay, there's, like, a bunch of stuff inside of there. Fair enough. Um, I don't really want to finish my reaction. Like, I don't really care about this information. This information is not relevant to me. All right, well, I'm just going to turn the computer off, and we'll worry about it. I'm, like, really, really hurt right now. Like, I would absolutely love to not be as hurt as I am, but unfortunately, it's just the way she goes. This is a keypad for entering a pin. I can enter a random number. Yeah, I don't think that's going to be uh, successful with four digits right there with ten on each. That seems kind of unlikely. 
Uh, what's inside this little... Dude, my perception is terrible. Like, I'm actually kind of upset with myself right now for taking, like, so much bad perception. Like, I would like to be able to see out of my eyeballs. And the game is just like, nah, Familia. And we got some junk over here. Electronic junk. I mean, I've still got loads of inventory space, so I'm going to pick all this stuff up. There's a piece of pipe, some electric cartridges. It's a battery format for screwdrivers and everything else. Okay. Let's see, our trash token. A hexagonal piece of metal with a hole in the middle. Maybe that'll be useful. There's a hot plate right here that can be used in a kitchen and a laboratory. A roll of duct tape. A small valve. I mean, I did almost get engineering as my background, so maybe having all this stuff is a good idea. There's a pry bar inside of there. That seems like that'll be useful. Let's get the pry bar. Yeah, let me get that pry bar right there. Can I equip it? How good is the pry bar? I want to see my pry bar. It's a bad pry bar. I mean, it does the same damage as a pipe, but with less AP. I could have double swung if I had had that when we were fighting with a robot. Probably would have been helpful. Hello? Anybody around over here? There's like a guard over there. I need to find like medical help first. Some kind of component. Let's see here. What does it say? You see a painted metal floor tile. No, that's not what I wanted to examine. Looks like it's some kind of component part of the ship system. What? Why are you leering over me? Oh, hey, you're new. Who are you? Where'd you come from? Uh, you know, just a random scavenger. I thought that already. Yep, this station is good for looting. Granted, you're sneaky enough to stay off the radar. You got good guns and armor. For some reason, the station is flooded with cam bots. I mean, be careful. We cleared out the promenade, but there's plenty of them left around. Okay, I'm gonna die, huh? A hairpin and some stay awake pills. Alright, I'll take the hairpins for lockpicking or whatever. And then stay awake pills. Pills that keep you awake and help you overcome sleepiness. They are often quite used in performance boosting capacity by professional athletes. Okay, so we found like that crazy like space Adderall. Gotcha. More dead people. Jeans and a turtleneck. Turtleneck and chain. Tur that's a bold, that's a bold fashion statement for the vacuum right there. Somebody really, really dedicated to that turtleneck life. Just throw that thing on and be like, yeah, we turtlenecking out here. I don't care that there's no atmosphere. I don't care that I can't breathe. We turtlenecking. VR Suite Southwest key card. Okay, I'll take that. The top infirmary. Oh. There's nothing inside the med kit, but I do need, like, pills or something. Okay, what's on the computer? What is that? Note for using the VR amitriptylinezine has the benefit of increasing pleasurable sensation due to increased focus. While the drawback is general weakness, it's essentially rendered null by default adrenaline boost in VR. Okay. Fair enough. Can I fix this? Yeah, this one also has the submit a request, but it doesn't actually go anywhere. Alright. Uh, those aren't lootable right there, but hopefully there's something in here that'll like fix my HPs a troll card A card for a game called adventure and glory it features an enormous towering creature the size of a small mountain on front and The description says hidden deep in the forest among rocks and stones of the mountain trolls are terrifying primal forces when angered Its power rating is five. Okay, so we found somebody's like D&D &D reference card space food paste Sure. Sounds appetizing. Why not? And we've got some painkillers over here. Drugs to numb the pain and make you feel healthier than your body actually is. More sleeping pills. We found a scalpel. It's in bad shape, but like... Alright. And then we've got the amitriponelazine and some more painkillers. If I use the painkillers, will I feel better? Because like, I have single digit HPs, and I almost had triple digit HPs. Oh, dude, it gave me 20 health back? Yeah, dude, absolutely. Let's take another one of those. Where's the other one at? There we go. Okay, I feel better about our health situation now. I'm glad we found our way over here. Let's see here. The door is locked with an electronic lock. You need the correct key card to open it. Can I tinker it? I failed. 
You try to find the right circuitry but can't make sense of the wires and relays. You might be able to get through if you tried some more, but unfortunately you need a new hairpin. Okay. Alright, well, I'm not, apparently I'm not good at that, so let's not worry about it for right now. Let's continue just sort of exploring and hoping we don't run into a cam bot around here. Why'd that door right there open? I don't think that I opened that door, dude. Sleeping pills? Dude, apparently everybody just on ambient around here before this place fell apart. It's no wonder the whole thing fell apart. There's a tunnel. Unfortunately, you can't squeeze through. You're too big for the small service hatch. Okay. The auto med. Will this heal me? Let's see here. What seems to be the nature of your medical emergency? Pain! No DNA match. Deposit 107 pure coins to receive general help. Not enough funds in your wallet. Okay. How many pure coins do I have? Do I have, like, any pure coins? Or am I just, like, super ridiculously broke? I don't see pure coins listed anywhere inside my inventory, so... Uh, inside of here, apparently there's birth control. On this side, we've got another scalpel. And then this scalpel does seem to be in better shape than our other scalpel, so I guess I'll take it. How much damage does it deal? No, 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 I want that back. Okay, like, I don't want to swap things around too. This guy is, like, really, really messing with these doors right now. I've got a bad feeling he's going to sneak up on us. Alright, so... With these scalpelinators, how good are they? 10 damage and 2 AP? Oh my god, okay, we're taking the scalpel out here. We're, we're going to be a we're gonna be a scalpel lord from now on. What do we have on this side? So we've got Noman, more birth control. We've got some kind of drug and stay awake pills. Don't think I want any of that just yet. Uh, there's nothing on either of those tables right there. But I would like to go into that room, so I think I'm going to wait for the cam bot to go away. I don't want to fight anything if I can help it. I'd rather not, dude. It just feels like a bad plan. Unfortunately, I ain't taking any sneakiness points. So there's a good chance that I'm going to be seen and brought down like an unwary deer when I walk past this thing. All right, go, 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 go. Go, go, go. I believe in you. You can do this. All right, so there's a computer manual, stay awake pills, a pocket knife. It's like the pocket knife. Black balsam. That's a ceramic bottle with golden insignias. Oh, it's alcohol. Okay. What does the computer manual do? If you didn't know how to turn a terminal on, it might be useful. Okay. Is there anything inside any of these locations here? Oh, there's another service hatch, too. I wonder if you can take a perk, like small or something, that allows you to get through there. That'd be sick, dude. Cambot, no! Oh, we about to die, chat. We about to... Ow! I've been cambotted. Can it be my turn now? Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna scalpel you, sir. What does Rip do? I can strip the opponent's armor. Okay. Ooh, ten damage right there, dude. I'm like a god of war. As long as I got my scalpel. As long as I got my scalpel. Ooh, take another one straight to the head. Ow! I took one to the head too! So stingy. If we miss a lot right here, we're going to have a really bad time. Wait, how come he got a double turn right there, dude? Okay, he's dead. We're all right. We're all right. I'm just going to, like, pretend like I didn't run into that cam bot. I don't know why it skipped my turn. I'll be honest with you. I don't really know. There's a personal terminal right there. There's a hatch access key card. Okay, I'll take that. I'll take that. Get the hairpin. Yep. Red shirt and khaki pants, jeans, and a turtleneck. Okay. Let's see here. Looks like it's got the same options as everything else, and honestly, I'm not interested in, like, a lore dump right now. Wait, what the hell was that? Uh. Oh, it's the building. It's just, like, there's the building with the dishes and stuff right there, and apparently the dithering deactivated for some reason. Let's see here. Missing security ID card with appropriate clearance. I'm pretty good at SciTech. Hey, I succeeded, dude. For Word and Pass File. All right. So log in. Welcome, welcome super user. Nice, dude. Turn down all the cam bots. Yup. Yeah. Okay, so now we're good. That's what's up right there. What does this do? Wolves car. Somebody left their D&D &D stuff 
like all over the a weird photo album like what kind of weird on the brown leather cover it says adventure and glory embossed with golden letters inside there's cellophane sleeves with pockets now it's an empty but you can see by the pockets that it was full at one point oh so that's for like okay we can use that for our cards basically mm, can I go inside of here Hold on, hold on. So we've got... Oh, the wrench. We need the wrench to get the parts out of all the little dudes that we've been killing this entire time. Hairpin. I don't think we need a can. I need to, like, ditch some of my other stuff in here. So let's put a screwdriver in there. I don't need multiples of those. Put the pipe in there, dude. Uh, the pry bar I'll hold on to because that seems like it might have some kind of, like, applicable use later on down the line. Pocket knife is fine. All right. So what's in here? Pliers and a can. Electronic junk. And another maintenance tunnel. All right, well, we should be safe. So our low HP status shouldn't matter because the cam bots should all be disabled. Oh, what is that, dude? Like a bulldozer bot? Let's see here. Yay! So an RC controller and a electronic junk. All right. I don't know if that's useful, but I'll take it. We've got a laser drill bit over there. Another trash token on this side. Take the trash tokens because I don't know what those are going to be useful for. And we've got a laser drill bit. It says that it's rare and valuable, so why not take it? And we got a soldering iron over here. What is that? A replacement part for the ship engine, a valve. On the bottom, you can see an ID number. Okay. My inventory is getting, like, terrifyingly full, though. EPAC casing, electronic cartridges. What do I do at the workstation? Oh, cool. I can make stuff. Okay. I mean, I don't have a gun or anything. You'd think, like, an officer on a ship would have a gun, but I guess I don't have a gun, man. We're not that kind of officer, I guess. Uh, that goes to the superintendent's office, but we need a key. Piece of pipe, screwdrivers, junk, trash tokens. It's too far away to see what's inside these containers. Let's look. Eh, nothing that I'm interested in for right now. We can all leave it where it lies, considering I'm almost overweight already anyways. Oh, I thought I'd turn these off, dude. Can I do it from right here, too? Do it again. Nice. Yay! Being a hacker pays off. I am Hacker Man's. A shock baton. Ooh. Krogus security card. I like the idea of the shock baton. Maybe I'll put all my loot like on one of these racks over here so I don't have to carry it around with me. We'll just put it all inside this first box right here so we can come back for it later when we're getting ready to leave. There we go. I've unburdened myself so that we can pick up a shock baton, which is like an actual weapon. Although it didn't really seem to help these guys out much, did it? Uh, shock baton and the ammo for it. All right, let's go to our inventory and shock baton. Shock baton. Shock baton. Oh, that thing kind of sucks compared to the scalpel. I'm going to keep my scalpel. Another jeans and a turtleneck rocker. An info display. Um, I think I have enough info for right now. Everything is trying to kill me. That's really the information that I need at the given moment. Oh, no, dude. There's something going on back here, but I can't see what it is. Oh, there's a cam bot right there. Ooh, there's cash registers. I might be able to... That's the security terminal right there, so I think we got to wait for this guy to go somewhere else. Bottled water and space potato stew? I love potato stew. That's like one of my favorite stews. Can I eat it? I'm going to eat it. Hold on. We're going to eat it. Eat it. I mean, it's 2 HP that I didn't have prior. 
What if that 2 HP is what keeps me alive against the never-ending hordes of monsters? Space food pace doesn't look like it gives me much. Looks like it increases my carrying capacity for a little bit. Alright. Five minutes. I mean, I was hoping it would give HP, but, like, I'm not going to be picky about, you know... Eh, public access terminal isn't helpful. I don't care about that. Hector, Black Balsam, Whiskey. Yeah, let's get into the cash register, dude. Let's break into this thing. Let's do some burglary. Hack that thing. Cytec. Oh, I failed. Is it broken forever? Or can I keep doing it? Ooh, I can keep doing it. Oh, never mind. No, I can't. Okay, so I guess I gotta find the key card that lets me in. I don't have a cue bar card. Maybe one of these guys has it. Hey, do you have a cue bar card? Who are you? Uh, what's up? Eh, you know. Um, can I ask you a question? What's happening here? Uh, they're trying to get the door open, but you should probably talk to Vilnus, the guy in the dark blue turtleneck standing by the door. He's kind of like our leader. Okay. So that's Vilnus right there, probably. Alright. And he's gonna have, like, some kind of task he wants me to do in order to get my fuel right. What's in th Wow, there are a lot of tracksuits in there. Okay, apparently this is where the space station's tracksuit storage is located at. Where does this go to? Who are you? Hey there, never expected to meet anybody down here. Yeah, it makes two of us. Who are you? Explorers? I mean, scavengers? We? Me and my bros. That's our ship parked over on the east dock. It's kind of hard to miss it. You can find the rest of the gang upstairs in the promenade. Okay. Um... I do like, I really like the graphical style of the game, actually. It really stands out. Can I hack something over here? I would like for robots to go away. Go away, robots. You're the worst. Oh, I failed. Weak. Hmm. Let's see here. The door is locked with an electronic lock. You need a key card to open it. What if I just tank it open, dude? What if I just, like, tankinate it, dude? Okay, apparently tankinating is not going to work here. It's the fuel bunker, too, man. That's actually, like, where I need to be in order to, like, save... Oh, there's a bunch of robots in there. Okay. What is this? System control terminal? What are these, like, fuel pumps or something? Let's go check the maintenance worker. Maybe they have the key card. That would be the logical person that would have it. I mean... Let's see here. Piece of pipe, screwdriver, atomic battery. It weighs 10, but I guess I'll take it with me. Maybe I need it to power something up around here. Yeah, it's a space wreck. I'm actually kind of infatuated with it for right now. It does actually kind of hit that Fallout 2 vibe of like, I have no idea what's going on. I just don't want to get shot by la I don't want to get shot by laser cannons anymore. I just want to go home. It's got like that feeling to it. So anyways, the demo is kind of cool. Go play around with it for yourself. It's free on Steam right now. I'll see y'all next time. My name is Splattercat. I sift through the pile to find what's worthwhile in the world of indie games every single day so you don't have to. Today up on the chopping block, we had Space Wreck. Tomorrow will likely be something else. Bye, everybody, and I'll see you then.